welcome back welcome back to my youtube channel after a very long hiatus um i obviously look like the biggest mess in the world i'm here to get ready and just talk you through our little hiatus who was talking to the camera while not recording anyway I have washed my face and I have put on a serum. I am going to take those off now because being Papa and I actually missed out a lot of steps. This is just a cloth with what you call it, with water, which actually feels really, really nice. I actually need to start doing this a lot. Um, but you can actually, it's the, the serum that I was on was Aesthetics by Chioma and you can see the effect it had on my skin by how like not amazing my skin looks as soon as I start taking it off. Um, a bag of serum it's all it's, it's really finished um but what a banger also if you hear children or airplanes it's because i live in the crib at a crib and also i live near children so let's get started again with aesthetics by choma their face mask and um, this is my kind of holy grail product this is what i use in an emergency if my skin just needs to be revitalized all those things so while we put that on let's have a chat um 2022 i was just i started the year in such a interesting emotional and mental space and for the first time ever my goals shifted dramatically to kind of fulfillment but fulfillment and things that i don't necessarily respect now i think for the first time in my life i really craved instant gratification and things being okay now and great now and i think as a person i'm really understanding that life's not always going to be great and more than that but like the life i know i want kind of takes a minute to build you can't have it at 20 21 and for the first time last year I, I, I like there was even a shift even the way i came into 2022 there was such a shift in mentality even on the night of new year's eve where there was suddenly for the first time in my life desperation and you can see with how i moved through that year that like that desperation translates in every single aspect of my year and not hunger hunger is a good thing and hunger will take you very very far and i think just generally i am hungry and i am ambitious um <laughs> Oh, not in my nose, child. Oh gosh, it's so deep inside. I am hungry and I am ambitious. But this took a different form. It wasn't hunger. It was desperation for instant gratification. Um, and you can tell with the relationships I kept and the people I let stay in my life that it wasn't. I was no longer playing the long game. I was playing for tomorrow. And as sad as it was and as little as I respect that, I think that ultimately... I was also just in such a bad mental space that I was playing to survive um, where just generally I've been focused on my life as a whole, the way I want my life, the trajectory of my life. When I went in the next 10 years, five years, I've been a very futuristic person until last year where it was like, what's happening tomorrow? I can't see, I could not, I'm not even exaggerating. I could not see past the next day. And I was in a really horrible mental state and that really reflected in the decisions I made and the things I allowed people to put me through. Um, with no exaggeration at all, 2022 was hell. And it was, and I've said this, I actually said this to someone who was making it hell, um, that life gets bad and that's normal um life's not always going to be great life's very very really perfect you get perfect for maybe a week every few years um but like the hell i was experiencing was such a manifestation of my own inner hell like i don't think things had to be that bad i think i didn't value myself for the first time last year <laughs> Hi, Fido. Come say hi to YouTube. Oops. Hi, guys. <laughs> say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Say please subscribe. Oops. Please subscribe. Bye, subscribers. <laughs> um. Bye, princess. Love you. 
Love you. Okay. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so I think it's just my reality, like, was such a manifestation of the hell I was personally going through. Um, and that sucked. I think it sucks when things were just a little bit avoidable and I just really kept unpleasant company. And to take it a step further, company that was dangerous for me and such toxic relationships and friendships. And not in a really conventional toxic thing where you can even, like, explain it, but, like, for the most part, I think the people who hurt me and the people I was associated with weren't bad people. No, I do think they were bad people, but they weren't necessarily bad to me. They were bad for me. I honestly don't know what I was saying. Those people were so, so, so bad to me. Horrible to me. Anyway. Um, and for the first time in 2022, I experienced ill intent. Not even for the first time, that's bullshit. But for the first time in a very, very long time, where just generally I am surrounded by so much goodness that the last time I ever experienced so much ill intent, I was 14. Um, and the, the gap between 14 and 21, you forget that that exists. I haven't existed around ill intent for a really, really long time. And so... As it happened, and as you can see, that these bad things are happening to you, these bad people are doing it to you, and you're staying. Um, there's a level of justification that happens when you just, it's just not the world you come from, and you're just not used to it. There's a level of justification that happens. Like, oh no, it's because they were raised like this, it's because they're from this culture, and it's because blah, blah, blah. Ah, fine. I think that people are really complex beings. Um, and it very well could have been because they were raised like this or because they come from here or because this because this because this very well could have been all those things but one thing a really big lesson i learned in 2022 the because doesn't matter the justification doesn't matter you can justify it to the ends of the earth and if it is hurting you and if they are harming you it does not matter why it just doesn't matter why they're hurting you Anyway, so then that was an element of 2022 where people were just so shitty. People were just so bad to me. But then I genuinely allowed it. So I was also, I'm the people. I'm part of the people who were hurting me and who were putting me in harm's way. And what really is the stinger was I was one of the people who wasn't protecting myself, who was abandoning myself. And these are big things that I struggle with. This hair is pissing me off. Um, these are, this is like one of the things I struggle with just in life, you know, abandonment and <laughs> abandonment and, um, not being protected and not being treated well, but it really came from me first. It came from me first. And then I let people in my life who were reflecting the way I was treating myself. I am extremely blessed with, one sec. I am extremely blessed with good people and this is also just why it took me so long to just cop and just admit that these are bad people um because i'm really blessed with good people and good interpersonal experiences and all of that so it was just so crazy that people were just intentionally harmful and then even when they weren't intentionally harmful no they were they were always intentionally harmful but you know when people just genuinely didn't give a shit about you it, it took so long for my brain to meet that do you know what I mean? Um, how long am I supposed to keep this thing on for? I think 15 minutes. Okay. 10 to 15. We've been talking for 9 minutes. This is long. I don't usually talk this long. Anyway, so yeah, I was like, I was fighting my own emotional and mental demons. And then those demons manifested into real people that I had to deal with on a daily basis. And I think that's where the real kicker is, is that... The people who hurt me most are the people who I trusted most, who I confided in most, who understood what I was going through the most, the people I spent the most time with. Last year, my re my world revolved around two people, really. Um, and those two people, I hope, I genuinely hope and pray I never see the likes of them ever again. I'm not even, like, no 
I wish them no harm. I'm personally not a big enough person to wish them good. The best I can do is say I wish them no harm. I cannot root for their success or anything like that. God did not make me my heart that pure. Sorry. Anyway, that was 2022. So I just wasn't in an emotional state. Say hi. And you know, be on YouTube. And more than that, I was just in such a creative lull. I'm not the most creative person in the world, but I am I, I, I do enjoy social media and YouTube has always been the forum I've most enjoyed um, consuming. I'm all, I've always been like a YouTube girl and love YouTube and it's it's my safe space. And last year that just wasn't us. I was just so out of it that it felt like I just couldn't talk to you. I couldn't create. And on other platforms it's a little bit easier because Instagram needs a picture from you. And that's when it ends but it, it's taken me even I'm all over the place it's taken me a long time to like be at peace with myself enough to give myself um to you guys that sounds like a stupid sentence but it, it has taken me a lot to be able to come on here and come on here at peace with who I am and at peace with um, what I want to create and yeah so even uh, last year it wasn't even a matter of not creating content it was just a matter of never ever bringing it out it's like I have maybe six or seven videos that have been shot some edited that will, that will never see the light of day just because of how much doubt was involved in their creation um and I think when you're unsure of yourself you're unsure of yourself so just I was like am I saying the right things am I doing the right things what's happening what's happening what's happening and yeah that's what was happening and now I'm back sorry it's just so much going on in this house um and now I am officially back on YouTube and I really thought it was important to one make a video explaining what happened and why I disappeared last year and then two what this year is gonna look like which is far more exciting um than focusing on the shit show that was 2022. So this is what it looks like when the mask dries, um, wait, when the mask is taken off, I'm going to give it a couple of seconds, like the water to dry my skin to dry up a little bit. Um, people ask a lot of the time for skincare tips. When you ask me for skincare tips, it's really important to know what my skin type is and where my problem areas with skin are. I have dry, sensitive skin. Um, and I've had eczema the last time I had a flare up was, I want to say August. I want to say August. And that lasted about three months. I think it's all gone now. It was here, so it is all gone now. Um, I need to do a lip scrub. My lips look horrible. So yeah, I can advise you as far as that's concerned. I've never had issues with acne or really discoloration or anything like that. Um, so well, my whole point was that I really recommend Chioma's product. This is I told you this is my lifesaver. This is like my my holy grail. I think it's a hydrating mask. Um, and that's exactly what it does. So you'll see the products I use do what I need them to do and not more than that. Well, I don't know if it does more than that because I don't have it. Um, or whatever. Anyway, so next, guys, I have this blonde hair everywhere. Being blonde is so hard. I can't believe God called me to do this. Um, you can see how dirty this is and it's finished. There's nothing in here. That's because... There's no serum. I, I use serums a lot. It's probably the one skincare product I'm most likely to try. There's no serum that touches Chioma's vitamin C serum. Look. And this isn't that old. Most of my skincare products are a lot older than this. I need to order more today because this is... This is the last I get. Um, but look, 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 look. This is only enough for half my face. I'm so sad. There's really not even a drop in here left. Um, anyway. So 2022 is over. It's 2023. 
let's discuss 2023 goals for 2023 um that will affect you guys so just i do want to come back to youtube and do promise to be consistent i can't make promises on what that means right now i don't know if that means once a week once every two weeks once a month but i promise you it will be consistent there will be no like you will know when you're getting a video from me on youtube sorry i'm getting distracted is that an airplane let's hit the pause okay so 2023 i will hope to or i plan to have a really big focus on small businesses uh small south african businesses in particular um small black owned businesses in particular women owned businesses in particular obviously you, you don't have to fit into these categories as long as it's small i would like to have a focus on it so if you have a small business um especially in one of the things that i am just generally interested in like skincare or hair care or hair or what am i interested in or clothes clothes is a big one just just move you can walk just anything in general it doesn't have to um be one of these examples there's nothing specific but i would like to help in any way i can whether that's just buying stuff or whether that's a little bit of a social media post however involved or uninvolved you want me to be i would love to help um and then obviously youtube because i'm speaking to youtube now um obviously youtube because i'm speaking to youtube now there will be a very big difference in the type of content you're getting with this year and i thought you might need to be prepared for that for example i don't think i've ever done a sit down video and i think most sit down videos have direction this has been very directionless it's just been mind farts um all over your screen so if you're listening at this point thanks for still listening so yeah that's kind of i think the 2023 plan that you need to know about just social media will be formatted very differently and there will be a uh, quite a different approach to it um i will see how that goes i do like the sit down video i think i think maybe because i didn't have to share too much i am a very private person and i have social anxiety and i am scared of being perceived by people in general especially the internet especially how uncontrollable it is I hate being perceived so i don't know how successful i will be with uh sit down videos but you guys i liked it you guys will tell me if you like it hate it if you hate it i'll never do it again you will never have to i will never speak to you again you will only get hauls from me and recommendation and this will be strictly professional let me know one percent okay so like i said oh this is too much product it's just um <sighs> There's just serum and foundation, one for one ratio. And yeah. Anyway, guys, love you so much. Thank you for supporting me through the bullshit I put you through. I love you guys. And please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, what you want, what you want to see from me, all that jazz. And yeah. <laughs> love you guys please like comment and the subscribe button is somewhere within i think it might be down here love you guys it was really nice catching up i really am happy to be back here and i hope we have a really beautiful year together and individually and yeah peace love prosperity all of that